India successfully tested its next generation short range ballistic missile called Pralay. Since it is a short range ballistic missile, that means the strike target is around 500 kilometers. Obviously, it is more than that. The government is not going to reveal the exact numbers. This missile can also carry up to 1000 kilos of warhead. This missile comes under the category of surface to surface missiles. In other words, it is also called a ground to ground missile. Basically, it is designed to be launched on the ground or at sea and strike targets on land or at sea. Usually, if you see, surface to surface missiles can be fired from handheld or vehicle mounted devices. It can also be fired from a fixed installation or from a ship. Since this missile can hit a target at 500 kilometers and it can also carry 1000 kg of warhead, that means apart from handheld devices, this missile can be launched from a vehicle, fixed installation or from a ship. Since it is a surface to surface missile, that means the purpose of this missile is to target enemy radar and communication installations, command and control centers and airfields. Presently, as you may know, the Indian Armed Forces have the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. Although it is super fast, but it can only carry 200 kg of explosives. Plus, it is also very expensive. So you see, the Indian Armed Forces actually need a short-range ballistic missile that not only can go fast, but can also carry a lot more explosives. That is how the development of this missile came into existence. Plus, the cost of this project is also very economical. This project was completed with a budget of around 427 crores or 57 million dollars. To give you some perspective, this missile can be compared to China's Dongfeng-12 missile and Russian 9K-720 Iskander missile. This year has been great for the Indian Armed Forces. India received the Russian S-400 system. India also signed AK-203 and AK-103 rifles, signed contract of Arjun Mark 1A tanks, signed contract for Israeli spice bombs, DRDO successfully tested Agni-5 missile. It also tested high-speed expendable aerial target called Abhyas. Then DRDO also successfully tested Akash Prime missile. Then BDL, Bharat Dynamic Limited is supplying anti-tank guided missiles. DRDO has also successfully tested supersonic missile assisted release torpedo system. Then it has also successfully tested Agni Prime missile. And then we also know that it successfully tested Pinaka rocket system. These are just a few that I remember. There are many more. Navy, Air Force, Army, everyone is getting something or the other which is super advanced. But why? Why all of a sudden the Indian Armed Forces is getting such a boost? I have a video that I want you to watch. It is about India's challenges in the Indian Ocean region and border disputes with Pakistan and China. This is the map that I have made. You can easily see that the actual threat is China. So these are all the things that are being bought and are developed. These are all the things that China to contain China. Kabu karne ke liye. It is in the global interest to contain China. So the reason India is spending so much on military armaments is because 1. India has to contain the dragon and the second reason is to maintain its strategic interest in the entire Indo-Pacific region as well as set its ground as an emerging superpower. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.